Hi friends and welcome back to another Tutorial Tuesday. Today we're gonna work on time stretching hit points and getting your grooves on the move. <laughs> Let's switch over to Cubase. Um, first I want you to check if you have already enabled your hit point detection because that's the main important thing. So you go to edit, you go to your preferences, you go to editing, you go to audio and there you have a, a marker which says enable automatic hit point detection. When you do that hit points are automatically detected. So you have n uh, when you import your audio file it will be scanned by Cubase and you only have to um, uh, adapt it. So again you go to edit, preferences, editing, audio and then enable automatic hit point detection. Um, inserting a beat can be done on several ways. Um, yeah, importing is always the same. I put it in here. Here is my beat. Um, this one is, as you can see, 128 BPM. And my main tempo is 123 BPM. This means this, this doesn't sound at all. Let's have a look. If I mute that, you can hear it. So that was the beat up you heard. It was totally off beat. I can do this on this in, in several ways. You can uh, the, the, uh, you can do time stretch, which can be nice. Um, time stretching is very easy. You go to audio, then you go to the processes, and then time stretch. You can see here that I have a uh, letter T. Uh, I probably, I d I'm not sure, but I probably did this myself. You can add your own key, key commands uh, to your uh, functions. You can do that very easy. In the edit, go to key commands, select which key commands. These are all the commands Cubase handles and just, uh, yeah, just assign it. Okay, we go to uh, to the audio, we go to the processes, we go to time stretch. This beat is calculated by Cubase on 127.9807 um, BPM. It's almost 128 BPM. I can make 128 BPM of it if I like. Um, I want to change it because my tempo in the beat in my uh, song is 123 BPM. So there we go, I press apply and you may ask yourself why is Cubase not doing this by itself like um, Ableton for instance. Well to be honest um, I, will be, I would like to be the one in command and not the program. Uh, to be very honest in Ableton I find it very annoying that Ableton does everything for me and uh, when my vocals are already processed and time stretched and on the beat and I put them in and uh, it is recalculated and my and my hit points are total off it's a mess so I really like and appreciate that Cubase doesn't do that on itself only when I instruct it but as you can see um, the beat is now 128 uh, of uh, 122 23 BPM and it's perfectly in in the in the beat. You can see it the, the 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 length is exactly one measure. So this is the first beat, second beat, third beat, fourth beat and this is the new measure, this one. So one, two, three, these are the kicks. When I play it, it sounds like this. Well, I like it. But one little problem with uh, with this is, I have to do it different, or else I can s cannot show you. You can see, I can probably zoom in more. As you can see, every line is my quantization, is where the rest of the song is in the tempo. 
uh, the quantization is now 1 16th with a 64% uh, swing factor on it. As you can see, this is off because this is where it should happen. This is only a fraction of, uh, of, of, uh, of a second, but it can be too much to be a bit messy. Um, you can just cut it if you like, just cut it cut this one because otherwise that one moves and you can put this with quantization on a on another position it's a lot of work especially when you have uh, a, a, a track drummed played by a drummer you have to do this all by all by yourself <coughs> so that's where the hit points come in I go back control Z it's too much back. I'm gonna redo insert. There's my beat loop again on 128 BPM. Well, we mentioned that before. When I open it, you can already see the hit points. Uh, I guess I already did some threshold and intensity to it. So, but you can uh, select your threshold and the intensity. And you can see where the hit points are, go, uh, where Cubase is creating the hit points. So when intensity is lower, there are more hit points, and when it's higher, less. I keep it like this. I say create slices. There we go. And I have slices. So when I put this now here, press. Uh, Control A and select them all and then Q and put them in the quantization this is the result it's perfectly in time so that would be my big tip for this week tutorial Tuesday and in fact I like this so much that I think I want to keep it in my song this is one of my new songs it's called Express Yourself. It will be put out in a couple of weeks. Probably when you watch this video, it's already uh, on, on YouTube. It's already out, but uh, I like it. So I keep it in, not on uh, 6 BPM, because of uh, 6 uh, decibel. It's too, too loud in the mix. But um, yeah, I'm going to keep it. going to um, uh, save it later and then uh, keep it in. So this is uh, something new in the track. Um, I think this is probably all for now for hit points and quantization. So I'll catch you next time with another Tutorial Tuesday and more info about the program Kiwis. See you later and thanks for watching. If you want to have some more info about me or my music project Energy, find me on www.energy-music.com. Bye bye.